You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. You know how much we love Fridays because it means we get to meet a new friend from Helping Hands Humane Society. Grace Clinton is here today with the honors. Hi, Grace. Hi, Liz. Good to see you. Good to see you. Who do you have with you? Because he's so cute. Isn't he the cutest? His name is Smalls. You know, like you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. And it's the perfect name for him because we don't think he'll get much bigger than this. He's about 28 pounds. I would guess maybe like a bull terrier, like the target dog or pit bull mix of some kind. He's got little spots on his ears that you can't little see on the spot. back side of his ears. How old is he? He's about 10 months old. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and he's got some puppy energy and he's very trainable and he's very social. He has yet to meet somebody that he hasn't decided is his best friend. And he likes to look at himself. <laughs> he's looking at the monitors. Yes, we're talking about you, oh, big guy. So Do we know anything about how he came to be at the shelter? I don't. I don't have any information on that. Um, you know, but however it happened, we, I guess, lucked out to get to meet this wonderful dog. Absolutely. We've been talking about how many dogs have been coming yeah. through your doors at the shelter. What is the situation like now? Hi. Oh, you just <laughs> want to sit there? Okay. Uh, as of this morning, we had 400 animals that are being housed inside the shelter right now. Honestly, what we're seeing is a lot of kittens and puppies coming in. It is mm. that time of year, finally here, where it's kitten puppy season. So we're seeing a lot of litters. Really important to spay neuter to kind of help curb some of those numbers. And with the numbers elevated, how much is it to adopt smalls and the other dogs that you have there, dogs and right, cats? Yeah, right now we don't have an adoption special okay. going at this time. Um, we've kind of uh, taken a break on some of our adoption specials to regain some of the funds. <laughs> we are definitely accepting donations at this time. Um, but definitely keep an eye because we will have adoption specials throughout the summer. Well, and what I was going to say is like kind of it's kind of good news because you have the specials when you really need to yes. desperately clear space. And people do it's a good investment when you are paying the adoption fee. Tell us what that covers so people understand why there's a fee to adopt. Absolutely. So every animal that is housed in our uh, shelter costs it's about fifteen dollars per day per pet. So with four hundred, you know, four hundred animals every day, multiply that by fifteen is how much we're spending to invest in them. Plus the cost of spay neuter, we spay neuter all of our animals before they leave the shelter. We microchip all dogs and they get multiple rounds of vaccines as well. So you've got lots of things. If you can't adopt, there are other ways to help the shelter as well. Any special events that you have in the next few weeks? Yes, we're really excited because tomorrow we're doing a book fair at Barnes and Noble where we'll have adoptable kittens and cats out there. You can come on by from uh, one to four, buy some books, support the shelter and meet some cats. Awesome. Food truck nights are also been happening regularly because even when you don't have the food truck nights, they, they, they're kind of like, we're going to come here and we're, we're going to help out you out there. anyway. Yep, we had one out there today. Yep. <laughs> Hi, baby. And fostering is so important as well, especially when you start talking about the puppies and kittens because they're not old enough to they're adopt not. out yet. So what does that involve? Um, fosters, actually, we have multiple different ways of fostering. You can foster litters of kittens or puppies. You know, usually it's until they're old enough and big enough to be spayed and neutered. <laughs> he has just decided you're his I know. <laughs> um, we also have a foster program where if you can take an adoptable dog for two weeks to foster it in your home, we call it a slumber party. Gives us some more information on how the animal will do at home. Anything that you need to know about in terms of getting information? or signing up for any of these programs, how do we do that? Go, go to our website, hhhstopeka.org, or follow us on Facebook. You know why he likes me so much? Because his little nose <laughs> and his little tongue match my dress. That's why you love me. Well, if you'd like to see Smalls or any of the other dogs, cats, puppies, or kittens that are available for adoption, Smalls will even like curl up in your lap, hhhstopeka.org. The shelter's still open until 6 tonight. That's right. And they're open Saturdays and Sundays as well. Grace, thank you thank so you, very Melissa. much. Smalls, thank you for being here, too. And we're glad you could be along for Eye on Northeast Kansas. Stay tuned. Investigate TV Plus is coming your way next. We will be back in a half hour with your latest news and weather update on Live at 5. Have a great afternoon.